like I did not have any idea how the EMR system worked before I joined the road it was very hands-on and I feel if you know me I'm sure you know that I so you know that okay this patient came in for this and this was done so there are a few things that you should check before applying my tips for you guys is hey everyone welcome back in this video I'm going to tell you about my tele rotation experience I did this tele rotation with the Downstate Hospital in New York. I rotated for a period of four weeks. I started in the last week of June and I completed it on the 24th of July. I had my university graduation exam in June and once that was over it felt like a sudden drop in academic pressure and I was just like what am I supposed to do I was so bored honestly it was supposed to be a time where I was supposed to have my graduation trip and travel meet my friends and stuff but because of COVID we couldn't do any of that so I could just stay at home I binge watch TV shows I catching up on all my hobbies but then I got to a phase where I was not motivated I was just like what is even happening and because of COVID I wasn't even sure when I would graduate and there were like a lot of things going on so I just thought okay let me do a tele rotation it will give me some exposure I will learn and there's also a chance to get an LOR so there's like everything together so I thought that would be a good idea and then I applied the whole application process was very quick I applied on Thursday and then I started on Monday so it was really quick I applied via Brooklyn USE like there are many other companies that offer tele rotations and there are also in institutions that offer tele rotations I'll make a separate video on that so as far as this video is concerned like I'm just going to tell you how this particular rotation was so I applied via Brooklyn USCE the application process is like super simple you have to just go on their website or you can like whatsapp or email them and they'll give you like options to choose from and you have to pick whatever rotation you want have like uh, general rotations like for example they have like general medicine rotations and they also have like subspecialty rotations like maybe hematology oncology then uh, cardiology blah 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 so you have like subspecialties as well and like general specialties as well you can choose whatever you want I did the general internal medicine one rotation so that was a really interesting one because I got to see like all kinds of cases and not just stuff pertaining to one subspecialty so that's the reason why i chose that so yeah coming back to the application process you have to go there but there are like two prerequisites you need a hipaa certificate and you need a certificate for new york requirement of infection control i created an entire video on hipaa certification how i got hipaa certified and all of that i'll like link it out here also link it in the description so you can check that out it has a step-by-step -step process for everything so and if you are applying through brooklyn usc they will give you the links to the course so that should not be an issue so these two things are like required uh, as far as I know USMLE step 1 score is not required but you can check with them once more so on like Thursday or Friday I took these two courses then I got my certificate and I had to like send it to them so I completed all of this by Thursday then Friday Saturday Sunday were just chill and then on Monday that's when my rotation began the first day was majorly just observation because you're new there right so you got to get to know how things are going to work and stuff so the first thing was just pure observation and from the next day or whenever you're comfortable you can start requesting for patients so once you're assigned a patient you're completely responsible for them you'll have to take their history speak to them answer their questions all of that so i feel talking to patients is something that i really enjoy doing so like this was like one of my favorite parts of the rotation i really like the fact that you have to take charge of the entire thing and it was honestly very rewarding so like you'll have to talk to the patient before the session begins try to get the history and get all the required information from them and then your official session will begin and during that session like you'll have to do case presentations then you can ask questions and there's discussion and there's a lot of things going on and one of the best parts of this rotation is that we were taught how to use the EMR system that is amazing because once you start doing your residency in the US you need to like know how to use the EMRs getting to know that was really amazing so every student will be given EMR responsibilities so we had to take turns to enter the data into the electronic medical record system it was very hands-on and I feel no matter how many videos you watch about these things the best way to learn it is by doing it yourself like I did not have any idea how the EMR system worked before I joined the rotation but then now I'm like really familiar with it I'm not gonna lie it did sound very complicated in the start but once you keep observing and once you actually do it yourself you will 
get the hang of the entire thing. If you know me, I'm sure you know that I love teaching. So, so I also stayed back after sessions to help the students who joined after me to use the EMR. And it was great. Like, you know, I feel like even when you teach someone, you learn better. So like if you're doing it, just stay back and help the other people. So the timings for me, it would start at 6.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. And it would go on to like 2.30 a.m. Except for Mondays and Thursdays. On those two days, we'd start at 9.30 p.m. And it would go on to like 2.30. The thing is, it varies because sometimes you have to start calling your patients earlier. So you have to start around 5.30. So that's like one hour added. And I used to stay back as well some days so we'd like end around 4 4 35 there were days when my dad would wake up when i went to sleep so, so my sleep schedule was just pushed but it doesn't matter i feel it was completely worth it and the sessions were for six days a week and, and sundays were off i was able to learn a lot about primary care like the common conditions that are seen and how they are managed and i remember while studying for step to ck i kind of struggled with the diabetes treatment program Call, but after this rotation it made a lot more sense because sometimes when you see things you learn better like this was like by experience so you know that okay this patient came in for this and this was done so and that registers differently and I feel like that sticks more so all of this will definitely help you so there are a few things that you should check before applying not only to this just to any tele rotation just make sure timings fit your preference and try to check and see how many students will be rotating with with you so that everyone gets an equal opportunity and what i liked a lot with my group of people were that, like we were not selfish we made sure that everyone was given an opportunity and that everyone got a chance to you know contribute and that was really nice and the highlight of my rotation was to get to know some wonderful people who are applying for the match this year just like i am and it gave me a feeling like i'm not doing this alone and that there are people with me one of y'all had asked me if it was possible to do a tele rotation if you're still in university along with college studies and I'd say it all depends on how you can manage your time. There's a lot of things that you have to take into consideration. Does your university require you to attend classes live or can you watch the recorded lectures later? And does your tele rotation time clash with your university classes? These are certain things that you have to take into consideration. But for what it's worth, I'd say it is possible. It all depends on your time and even if you feel like this timing that I just mentioned does not work for you you can try to look for rotations which fit your schedule because the rotation that I had done earlier last year in April that started at 4 a.m. in the morning so like this ended at 4 a.m. and that started at 4 a.m. so it's like different daily rotations have different timings so you can see what fits your schedule the best and choose that my tips for you guys is that participate as much as you can be polite with your teammates and if someone does not know something don't make them feel bad for it like try to teach them because because everyone is in different stages of their prep like some are med students and some are like experienced doctors so be nice be polite be a team player and sometimes you know by just observing there's just so much you can learn from each and every one in your team and i feel like they all have qualities that i look up to be curious to learn stuff and even if it takes you an extra half an hour stay back after sessions because like it's fun while learning the emr i also got to know about a lot of people it was a very chilled conversation we were talking about the match about usmle sharing tips with each other and stuff so yeah so Try staying back after sessions if possible. You will definitely benefit from it. So those are my tips for y'all. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.